Them batteries, like you said, were expensive. And I took two deep cell batteries for like your fishing boat. Yeah. Whatever. Two deep cell 12 volt batteries and uh, put them in there. And them bat them two deep cell batteries made that scooter. It was it was not a lot faster, but it it was quicker starting. It started instead of going. Go. I was driving it, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So. I've seen some, um, uh, those handicapped wheelchairs, they got a motor on each wheel because one will stop and the other one will run to turn it. Right. Because you can't turn it like this, it's, it turns it. Hey, he rides that thing, I'd say he probably has to charge it once a week. Rides it every day. Just like you do, he's all over the place on it everywhere. Yeah. You know, he said he doesn't know how long he's, how many miles he gets out of it. He just knows that he can ride it about three, four days before he has to charge yeah. it. Again. Usually on trash day, I'll make my rounds in here, then I'll head down that road and I'll go all the way down to 36, and I do them side streets, and then coming back, I'll go the back way around the Publix. Then I'll come down the other road, and if I don't do it that way, I'll do it going down the main road first, and then doing one. But yeah, he's got that like that little. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. all There's a guy on YouTube that goes dumpster diving on a motorcycle. He's got a big old basket sits on that back seat. Then he's got a small one sits down in that one, and some and he picks up a lot of stuff. Uh, he can't. He has to go around the big stuff, yeah, but yeah. you'd be amazed. And he makes a lot of money. He's got he's got about thirty thousand subscribers, so he gets pretty good check every month from. Yeah, I put this extended thing out here. This comes. I ever saw him about two years ago. I thought he was a joke, running around on a thing. Well, at first he was running around on a bicycle. And then he went to a scooter. And I wonder what that is. It looks like flowers. I don't know what that is. My eyes ain't that good till I get up closer. And it is a. That is a reef. Actually, actually, my daughter loves stuff like this. And those are going home with me. Um, Boy, I'd like to find some t-shirts big enough to fit me. But that ain't gonna happen. These is nice. Oh my goodness, I know who would like that. I know who would like that. And it might accidentally fit her. I am going to send that to Sammy on Tucker Upper. She is really into cats, and I can just see her wearing this thing. Yep, that's going to Sammy. That's going to Sammy. Uh, this. That's a sleeveless. That looks like a lady. That's a throw pillar.
you know that's some neat stuff there it's a shame that it's getting thrown out but every time I, I can't them's going home with me and this shirt for Sammy on Tucker Upper is going home with me I'm gonna send that to Sammy hey Sammy Girl, when I seen this in the trash, I first thing I thought of was Sammy. This is you. I hope it can fit. <clears throat> but I just immediately thought of you. Got the little hoodie on there with the ears. I like Sammy, I like Tucker. He don't seem to have as much of a potty mouth as he used to, but he still spout it off every once in a while. So will Sammy. But he comes up with some of the thoughts and things in his head that so impresses to me that somebody his age will even think like that. He he's. What is the word am I looking for? He is an old, his mind, I don't know, is it old soul? He's got an old soul in him. And, uh, but I, I didn't like them at first, but then they kind he was in the trash outs in houses for real estate companies and stuff like that. And he was into stunts, and he's even done things for different films and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure about all of it. But he's a great... Matter of fact, when Scrap and Pallet Man, early on, was starting out, and he only had about 200 subscribers, and Tucker Upper seen his channel one of his videos and Tucker Upper made a shout out on on him on Scrapping Pallet Man and Scrapping Pallet Man from that took off and it hadn't stopped since. He he is now at fifty one thousand uh, subscribers and looks like he gains about a thousand every month, maybe more. And Paul, for me, is a personal friend. I talk to him on the phone a lot. And we're so totally different people, but that don't matter. Uh, you know, it's different strokes for different folks. Uh, but Paul's channel took off from Tucker up. Um... Paul's a good guy, and I disagree with probably 30, 40 percent of some of some of his stuff uh, that he says, or some stuff the way he does stuff. Uh, but I noticed here lately he does some stuff in scrapping that. I did, I did back when, and I was surprised he didn't. I don't think he still messes with cans. Uh, but I just can't get it into his head, you know. If you're, right, if you're in that trash can and the can is laying there, my gosh, it's there, man. Grab it, put it in the truck. And... Granted, it's not worth much money, but over a year's time, you saving them things, it's worth the money. Paul, don't you get it, Paul? <laughs> I love Paul. <laughs> he is. 
And he's changed a lot of things about the way he does his video. I don't think it's too bad. It might. He doesn't have an introduction and and a an outro. You know, at the end. Uh, and I just can't imagine my my chant my videos not having that introduction that I have. I'm going to work on it some and make it better than what it is and my closing I just can't imagine my videos without that plus the fact that I love the tune sometimes I think people come by me and come just as close as they can without hitting me to uh convinced me to get off the road, get out of the way. Now I got to go Let's see if I can make it before a car comes. Come on buggy. Come on baby. I think I'll make it just barely. Just barely. But yeah I love Paul but anyway back to Vid Vulture. And I was very surprised that he sent me a message or made a comment back to me and asked me some stuff about what what I did with them flat screen TVs when I got him. And of course I went into a whole round about what I do and why I do it and a whole lot of other stuff. And he said give him a holler at uh, some of his next videos and he was going get, to get me hooked up. Now I don't know if that means he's going to uh, give me a shout, shout out. I don't know. But I like having the conversation with him and that's something I've never been able to do a one-on-one -on -one with him. I still don't know his name. I would love to know his name. I don't know why he doesn't show his face. Uh, but that's that's him. That's his. And I know a lot of uh, of scrappers out there that won't show their face. I don't know why. But me being a people person, I got to see people what are you doing buddy to making a turn I'll let you go on but hey but this this investment stuff he's doing I'm thinking why not start another channel with that but maybe he don't think he reaches many people he says he wants to try and help people make money well, he's helped, he's helped me make money by uh, uh, inspiring me to do this on my scooter. I'm not making much, but I'm making some. And like I told him, the, re the biggest reward for me is the fact that I keep it out of the landfill, the stuff I get. And I, most time I pick up stuff that nobody else wants. You know, like, Paul won't take a vacuum cleaner. How you doing, sir? Good, you? You have a good day. Sir, you the same thing. But I'll pick up a vacuum cleaner because I'll get that motor and the wires out of there. Oh. Uh, but Paul, all Paul will do on the vacuum cleaner is cut the cord. And I never cut the cord on the vacuum cleaner until I check it out and see if it works. If it works and I can clean it up, I'll sell it. You know, for five, ten bucks. There you go, FBG.
You know what I was thinking about doing just for the heck of it? I was thinking about one day riding past some man walking by and looking at him and say, how you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Maybe I ought not do that. How you doing, ma'am? Hey, baby, again. <laughs> I got a smile that time. How you doing, sir? I think I talked to you before. No, wait a minute. Did I talk to you before? Yep, sure did. You doing all right? Doing okay. Yeah, you look like another guy that I was talking to. He's a World War II vet. Is that right? Yeah. But he's got to be up in his 90s. But he, you know what? He was walking out the door. He parked his cart, picked some two heavy bags up, and was lugging them out by hand to the car. In his 90s. Yeah, he's got, well, he's got to be late 80s or 90s. Yeah, yeah. You know? But you was in the Army in Vietnam. You know why I got out of the Army in 1964 when I was coming up for reenlistment? Oh, why is that? They were sending them to Vietnam like crazy then. Yeah, I went over in 66. Hmm? I, I went over in 66. And then again in 71. Twice? Yeah. You sound like my brother. He did that twice. Got his butt shot off both times too. Is that right? Yep. Well, the first time it was them sticks in the ground that yeah. they fell Precious. into. Yeah. What that kind of an outfit were you in? I, we operated the port facilities. All uh, right. What rank was you? I was staff sergeant then. A what? I was a staff sergeant then. Okay. So I retired master sergeant. I never made staff so I made E5, but I was a spec. I was a spec five. I wasn't a yeah, sergeant. That's what I was. Spec five. Yeah. But I don't like when they say, well, you're not good material to be in charge of the guy, so you're a specialist. That's, that's the explanation they yeah. gave. Well, I guess they don't, need a, they don't need a lot of corporals, so they made, made guys specialists so they can get yeah. started. That's what I hit, spec four, and then I hit spec five in 62 or 63. I think I could have probably got another stripe in that if I'd have stayed in, but I didn't want to go to Vietnam. I, but I was in artillery, it might not have been that bad. Yeah. You don't know. It's, uh, you don't know, and that, and they've been known to switch the MOS too. Yeah. When, uh, when the Cuban crisis broke out, I was in, in Fort Dix on my way to Germany. Yeah. And uh, that was in 62. And uh, they were they were bringing all the troop ships into New York, to New Jersey, and they were loading them up, and they were just riding around in the, in the Atlantic, waiting for something to happen in Cuba. Yeah. Well, I, I spent I spent six years in, and I spent five years of that in in Germany, and that's uh, because I when I reenlisted first time, I, that was yeah. gonna let me stay there. I loved it so good, but. Um, I grew up in Germany. Hmm? Where were you at in Germany? Bad Kissingen. Bad Kissingen. I was in Heidelberg. Heidelberg. I don't think I ever went to Heidelberg. I was in Bad Kissingen all that time, but we was on border patrol and all that stuff yeah. there on that border. And uh, matter of fact, when that Berlin Wall went up in 62, yeah. we had to go on alert. We were on alert for about five, five or six days. Before. We didn't even know what was going on. They weren't telling us nothing. But we knew it had something to do with the Russians. Yeah. Uh, that's when they put, uh, the, that's when they put the, the wall up. Yeah. Put that wall up and that changed everything. Because I've been to Berlin a few times on pass and stuff. And we could go across yeah. into East Germany and stuff, you know. We didn't wear a uniform. Right. But we could go over there and then all of a sudden. They didn't even want us going to Berlin on pass or anything because we had to cross East German. Uh, I went to Berlin in 76. Uh, it was still divided. Uh, and I had a buddy, he was in the intelligence and he couldn't go with me. So we, I, my wife and I just spent the afternoon there and came back. Yeah, and I'm they, sorry, ma'am. Let me back up there. And they had a, they had a museum there. 
for all the different types of escape they hate use. Yeah. And uh, some of these East, some of these East Germans built the tunnel. And these older, older families went. And, they came up and they said, "We wanted to help you build the, see the tunnel." So, and the guy said, "No, you're too old. We don't want you doing any work down here." So they, they went off and dug their own tunnel. How old are you? Seventy-six. Seventy-six. I'm seventy-eight. That's a long time ago, ain't it? Yeah. You look back and see where that time goes. Uh, wish I could go back and do it again, but a friend of mine said, well, Russell said, we had our turn, so <laughs> there you go. Nice talking to you, good sir. We're, we're you have a good one. Hey, baby. We're getting friendly, aren't we? <laughs> you a cutie. Yeah. Oh, I love people. Dad, don't it? Wouldn't it be wonderful? If there was a place that I could get a job and do nothing but ride around in the store talking to people. Yeah. He's worried about it, so. And it would pay me money. Pure Western. Ah, that's... Son of a gun. Look here. 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 I thought that was you. How you doing? Now you know it's us, huh? You been there? Yeah. You got her on camera? Huh? You got her on camera? Oh, Lord, don't put me on. <laughs> yes, sir, you're on it. Well, here I am. Man, you done, you done got a little heavy there. <laughs> I remember when you were a skinny fella. Well, that's what happens when you start having heart failure. <laughs> hey, it'll, let me, it'll, um, it'll put your weight on. Let me give y'all one of my cards. I don't do nothing but ride around. And aggravate people? Talking to people. That's I ride good. this from the house. I'm about 10 minutes away. Yeah. No, oh, you, you got in town good, huh? Yeah. Anyway, that's my Junk Dauber channel. That's one I of my see, old. Junk diver. Yep, that's me. I, I pick up cans, you know. Uh -huh. I look at it this way. I'm out riding around, and the cans is laying there, and I might as well grab it, and I save them up for the end of the year. Uh -huh. Last year, I got almost $500 for cans oh, at, right. at Christmas. Are sure well, you did. still making your crosses and things? The My wood? what? Your crosses for the wood? No. Nope. I saw all that on uh, the I had the, the doctor told me to stay away from the machines. So. Uh, him too. Him too. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, I did. I had to. But how's, uh, how's the family doing? I mean, as far as, uh, gosh, don't tell me I forgot his name. Your son's name. I have no idea. No we idea. haven't seen them in like 10 years. We're What's good, his we're, name? We're not good enough for him no more. Bobby Jr. Yeah. You hadn't seen him? What's up with that? Yeah. Some shit he come across. He was just too good for us anymore. Son of a gun. There's still an Ocala somewhere as far somewhere. as I know. I, you know, it's just a daggone shame when that happens in families. My daughter, Jennifer, never left home. She says, she says I live with her. I say she lives with me because she never <laughs> left home. Uh -huh. She's never been married. She's got three boys. They're my grandson. And she's there and they're there. And I wouldn't have it no other way. Exactly. I would go nuts. My, I was out riding around with my 10 year, my 11 year old uh, grandson and, and some of his friends rode by and I know they were about a mile uh -huh. from the house. And I said, you see anything wrong with that? He said, yeah, they don't have no adults with them. Mm. And I don't let him go, and he's 11. Well, that same Bob Jr., right? he didn't get to go nowhere without me around. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, teased him and everything, but. But you know, when, when Bud died, yeah. um, that made me Pull him closer to hold him right him. there, and I want to be with him. I want to know what's going uh -huh. on. And uh, 
that ain't never gone away. It never will, you know. No, he, never will. Uh, never will. But I got my grandsons, and they're half black, which is not no you know, thing to me. You remember Yvonne? It ain't his fault, you know. Yeah. You remember Yvonne? Her, her son and her daughter both married black. Yeah. They got the cutest little... Who? Yvonne. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. they both married black people, yeah. didn't they? They got the cutest little kids ever. They yeah, want to talk your head off. Yeah. And, and well, you know, yeah, 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 on yeah, 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 yeah. side. Yeah. All of them. That goes, I think that's just a going thing. Yeah, I see Yvonne on uh, Facebook. Yeah, right here at the trailer park. Really? Yeah. Oh, Spanish show. Yeah, right there, Spanish yeah. shows. Yeah. We're about the only ones left out there. But we're planning. Still at your house there and everything? Yeah. 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 Still the same place. What about uh, um, Pearl? How's she doing? She died. Pearl died. She died? Yeah. Talmadge died. Her old man, she died. Mama died. Talmadge died? Yep. He died. He died first. Yep. Then Mama. Then Pearl. Pearl. Anybody else died? Well, Dot. That was your Pete, Pete died too, Pete didn't he? Pete, Pete did. Pete yeah. died, yeah. That's why I say we left the only ones left down. The older you get, the more you're going to lose. You know, if you live if you live long, you're going to lose. There ain't a thing you can do about it. And my problem is, when my wife died 12 years ago, I, I didn't like fall apart bawling and stuff like that. I just, something happened, I just come unglued. I couldn't do, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't make nothing uh, work anymore. Yeah. And next thing I know, I'm, I'm, I'm on my Social Security and that's it. Plus whatever I can scrounge around and make on the side. Well, we're both on Social Security now. He had, he's got the defibrillator pacemaker. Really? Yeah. It's, but you know what? We're all still kicking. Yeah. We're kicking. All right. Yeah. We're all right. Through here and get, I'll, you be I'll good. Check be on careful. Your all right. When you see them, tell them I'm, I'm on Facebook. Okay. So we might. So we see. And uh, and I'm on YouTube. I got. Okay. I put up four or five videos. A week. Well, I'll send you a friend request. Okay, okay. do take that. Care, All right, Pat. Oh, this has been a good day. Hey, 410. You doing all right? How you doing, sir? Not bad at all. How you doing, ma'am? There you go, big keg. That person looks real familiar. This has been a good... You know what? I got that on my leg or I thought about that. So I'm gonna the have to was saying she had some Oh, sir. Pull up close. Sir. The cashier said she had some scraps huh? for you. The cashier that you said hello to, she said she had something for you. Who does? The cashier at the end. Does she have something for me? Uh-huh. At which cashier? The last one. Four uh, ten? Express, yes. Okay. Oh, I'll go see what four tens got for me. Oh, A what? Car ramps. You know you drive your car up on it? Oh, really? Yeah. It's bent. Okay, where are they at? At my house. Hmm? At my house. Where's your house? <laughs> Down there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need, I don't know where your car's at, so I need to know where I can... I thought about having somebody put them in my truck. 
Do you ever go to my uh, YouTube channel? Or you can send me an email. My email address uh, is on I here. Email. You don't know that? No. Well, write your address down on something for me when you got not busy there. Well, write it down on something and I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay? This has been a wonderful day. What a day. I, like, I got no scrap. I got two wreaths of some kind. I got a t-shirt for Sammy on Tucker Upper. Okay. Now I'm gonna go fix me a cup of I have made a mess here, but I can't get up because I got this stuff piled up on my feet. How y'all doing? All right, how's yourself, sir? All right. I'm about ready to head back home. Done my daily tour. 
I don't know why I like to hang out here. It's a good place to hang out. Free air conditioning, good people. <laughs> well, I meet a lot. I meet a lot of people, and well, it's, it's good people to be around. So good company. It's fun. Occasionally, I have to buy something. Yes, every once in a while. All right. You have a great Wait day, a minute. I got to go back here. One of the cashiers wants to see me about something. Have a good one. Who was that? Oh, 410. I didn't hear you. You want me to put them in the back of my truck and bring them up Monday? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Monday? Yeah. What's your hours Monday? I don't know. I go day by day. I don't really know. Well, what time you want me to be here? Are you working Monday? Yeah, I know I'm working Monday. I'll be here through the midday. So well, what I'll do, I'll on. just come in and whenever your break is. Or I'll just, say if I'll just put them in the back of my truck tomorrow. Okay. And you can just tell me what truck is and I'll get them. Yeah. How's that? Right there, look around, you'll see them. Yeah, I'll tell okay. you where the truck is. Oh, well, I'll figure out a way to haul them. I might be in the car Monday. My, I got a doctor's appointment. Okay. I got here yet if I'm gonna break because I got two car ramps. One of them I guess somebody didn't get up right and they yeah. bent the they ain't good but if you ain't got two of them they ain't worth crap. Mm -hmm. And I got my own so I don't need them. Yeah, uh, okay. All right dear. Somebody hauled them to my house so they could scrap them but they ain't come back for them so I'm yeah. like I'm sick I'm sitting inside my house. All right. Well I'll see you Monday then. Have a good day, dear. Did I do that? <laughs> Did I do that? I forgot I put this arm back on here and it catches stuff. I'm going to get out of your way. You have a good one, dear. How y'all doing? How are you? How you doing, ma'am? Good day.
Well, it is getting about time for, I think I'm going to run over this bump just for the heck of it. Up, up, uh oh, I almost spilled coffee. Been a dead gone good, good day. I've got no scrap. I got a t-shirt for Sammy on Tucker Upper, and I got two reefs that my daughter's going to love. She likes that stuff. How you doing, dear? You have a good day. Now, oh, I just, I just love it. I don't know why. I just love it, especially seeing old friends that I've known for years. I've known that one man and woman, Pat and her husband Bob that I was talking to, they live down the street from me, out in Citra, out in the country. And my son and their son was playmates together. They were playmates together when my son was killed in 1986 in that car wreck. And uh, so that means I've been knowing them for, holy cow, 80, 83, 93. 2003-2013 I've been knowing them for almost 40 years and I asked him about their son how he was doing and they, well we don't know we hadn't seen him in about I heard anything from him in about 10 years that is really, that is really sad. That is so sad. I don't see anything in there except the trash. Today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. Tomorrow, I am going to make, my daughter hasn't signed back up for trash pickup, so I got to take some of our trash to a trash dumpster, and where I'm planning on doing it at, there's a bunch of other dumpsters in there that I'm going to do some dumpster diving, so I'll be in the car. But yeah, that's just sad that Bobby is not having anything to do with his parents. I'm not really one to talk so much about, uh, cause I was estranged from my mother for a long time and then not so then there was a period that we was getting along okay and everything and she was working for me at a couple of jobs and stuff. And then we become, what's the word, estranged. We had problems. Uh, I won't get into that. That'd be another video. Boy, he has not got any of his plants and stuff going up there. I, want, I thought he might put out some more tomato plants. Let's go, pro. Stop recording. You know what? There's something laying there. I can't tell what it is. I'm going to pick it up. And is it it's some kind of a plant thing, but it's a limb off or something. Now, what in the world is that? 
That's been carved on it. Hmm. Is that a palm from William? Holy cow, what is that? That's what it looks like, and this has been carved into it. You know what? I might take, get me a palm from them and try that. And uh, it looks like I could do it with my Dremel tool. What about that? That is interesting. I'm taking that home and look at that for other. But see the backside, you can see it's a limb, it's grown, it's... Well, I think it's a palm prom limb. See a chair up here. Looks like it might be a recliner. See that water tower over there sticking up? That's almost in my backyard. This chair looks in good shape. It's not a recliner. Yes, it's in good shape. It's in good shape, and it's clean it's a swivel rocker wow it's gonna get wet if I had a way to haul it 